we mentioned at the top of the show that um, the journalist uh, Stephen Sadoloff uh, was killed in a video that uh, was produced by ISIS, uh, beheaded. Um, I've read uh, reports that ISIS didn't mean to release the video at this time. I'm not sure what the what difference that makes at any point. But um, so this situation, obviously, uh, it, it's disturbing. Uh, we have talked about ISIS on this program, uh, you know, and uh, and spoken to a couple of experts about it. I imagine we will talk about it in the future. Um, this next video. Look, ISIS is obviously a um, an organization that is uh, just uh, beyond repugnant. Beyond, I don't even think that they are political actors in any fashion. There is no there is no negotiating with them. Uh, there are no there is no political solution to ISIS and their brutality. That's not to say that it is. Um, incumbent upon the U.S. to get involved militarily. It's simply saying that, and unlike other situations, there's no negotiations here, uh, at least with ISIS. These are all very um, uh, difficult uh, issues, of course. Let's see how Sean Hannity addresses this topic. Welcome back to Hannity. New video surfaced earlier today showing the brutal execution of captured American journalist Stephen Sotloff by ISIS terrorists. Now, this comes just two weeks after the radical Islamic group posted a similar video documenting the beheading of journalist James Foley. So how should America deal with the simultaneous rise of radical Islam around the globe and a rising tide of anti-Semitism and anti-Christian behavior as we pause it for one second. Now, of course, um, Sean Hannity it seems to be teeing up an expert uh, to talk about all these issues involving ISIS uh, and uh, this uh, jihadism. I know that we spoke to uh, Patrick Coburn on this uh, program the other day about the rise of the jihadis. Uh, we have spoken to uh, various reporters from the region, uh, thinkers about this. Let's hear uh, with Sean Hannity who he has. We saw convert or die in Mosul. Joining me now, the patriarch of Duck Dynasty, the author of the brand new book, Unfiltered, The Way I See It. I got it right here, the one and only Phil Robertson. How are you, my friend? Doing good. Good to see you. Welcome aboard. Good. I'm sorry. The patriarch of the Duck Dynasty to talk about ISIS. Ah, of course. See you, man. You don't leave home without it. You brought your Bible with you. I never leave home without my Bible and my woman, Hannity. That's good advice for you. <laughs> Is that good advice? So I'm That's never allowed really... to go out alone? Well, my wife safety. would get bored. Safety, safety. safety. Is that woman what it... and Bible, you got it? Uh, I... <laughs> now, you dedicated this to your, your book to Miss Kay, which I thought was really nice. Let me ask you first. I wrote a book once, Deliver Us From Evil, about I think good people have a hard concept understanding evil. That book talks about evil that you got there in front of you. You bet you. Um, the Lord's Prayer says deliver us from evil. I think you're a preacher at heart. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. But when you, if anybody could cut off somebody's head like that and then put head, children's head on stakes, isn't that evil in our time? And how should we deal with it? Worldwide, planet-wide, biblically speaking, two groups of people, the children of God and the whole world is under the control of the evil one. That's First John 5, 19. Ephesians 2 said, look, the evil one works in those who are disobedient. Galatians 3, they are prisoners of sin. Second Timothy 2, it's, the Bible says that they've been taken captive by Satan to do his will. Listen, let me show you one. I've got the old, hey, America. This is so... I, I'll tell you something. I, I watch this and I just think, is there really anybody anywhere watching this and not laughing? I mean, except for those people who are crying. Is there anybody watching this who are not laughing or crying or cry laughing? 
An honest answer to that question will make you cry, Sam. Yes. I mean, seriously. Yeah. I mean, why not say we have this huge problem? Uh, we have this uh, this crisis uh, with ISIS. Uh, we have this uh, jihadi force that is uh, taking over um, uh, Iraq and Syria. Um, now we're going to show you um, uh, two uh, two-year-olds playing with their own poo. As analysis, this is unbelievable. Uh, what, what else? How long does this go on for? Like About five minutes. Like three minutes. Doesn't at one point he says, "Let's just uh, kill them all and let God kill them or convert them." Kill them or convert. Kill them or convert them. Uh, I guess that's what he must meant by. Is that where it says in the Bible? You know who that reminds me of? Kill them or convert them. That reminds me of ISIS, actually. <laughs> Unbelievable. I just, I just like I, the most. I, I, I mean, just I don't even I, I just don't understand. I even like the tonal because because they are actually for once talking about a genuinely horrifying and disturbing thing. It's like not a made up segment. So he's introing it by talking about this beheading. And then, of course, it's hilarious. The Duck Dynasty guy. But even so, if you're doing that segment, would you immediately be hey, I see you brought your Bible. <laughs> Oh, of course. That. Like, are you kidding? Like, it's not even like just I see. You. I'll tell you. Let me tell you what happened in the five minutes before they went on. See, so you have your Bible. Make sure you put that on the the table. And I'll yeah, we'll, we'll do a nice little riff on that. Of course. Are you kidding? They're kibitzing. I see I your mean, diapers full of can. poop. Why don't you bring that out? And I'll have my uh, two year old bring out his poop, and we can just play with our poop. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. Let's go to the uh, phones. I'm just, I, I, you know, I, I don't it's know. It's pretty amazing. I, I just, it is amazing. There's not much. I've been doing this for it. 10 years, and I'm still shocked by it. 